welcome back to part two, where we're now talking a little bit more uh, in depth about type two diabetes itself. Now we've built those uh, pieces in the last video of all the different parts of the body that are, that are involved, what we can now start doing is talking about diabetes itself, or sp certainly type two diabetes itself, which is the one we're gonna focus on. So we talked about these alpha and beta cells. So I've, what I've done is I've enlarged the picture and I've put it on so hopefully you can see it a little bit more clearly. But we've got these alpha and beta cells. Alpha cells release glucagon and beta cells release uh, insulin. So type two diabetes is sort of characterized by the destruction slash dysfunction of beta cells. Now, what's, it's not necessarily the, uh, the insulin that's causing the problem, it's the glucagon secretion that's causing the liver to convert glycogen to glucose to be released into the bloodstream. So it's, it's as if the alpha cells are in increasingly active and producing a lot of, a lot of or um, is causing the liver to create a lot of glyco uh, glycogen to glucose and putting it in the bloodstream. What this is then doing is the beta cells, which is the insulin, this is picking that up. And what it's then doing is it's trying, the insulin is being secreted and it's trying to be released into the bloodstream to remove it. But the problem starts to come along is when the pancreas can't secrete enough insulin to maintain or to reduce the high levels of blood glucose. So it's very much these two cells are out of balance, if you will. Now, obviously, one way of being able to manage that is to reduce the amount of high sugary foods. Now, when you get low blood sugar, that's slightly different. So with regards to type two diabetes, it's very much managing, engaging it. But with regards to um, what we're talking about, with regards to diet and what we can do about that is it's very much, as I mentioned in the obesity videos, it's very much reducing the amount of high sugary processed foods and using more plant-based whole foods, which are gonna have much less stress on these two alpha and beta cells. So by in introducing these types of foods into your diet will not only help with the type two diabetes, but it'll also have a knock-on effect into obesity. And hopefully, if you've watched both the obesity and these diabetes videos, you'll be able to see that the, the, the correlation between the two and how they can affect each other with regards to the insulin resistance and the conversion of um, glucose into glycogen and then triglycerides and then put into the adipose tissue and so on and so forth. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've been able to take something from it and hopefully you've got a better idea of maybe what's going, in, going on inside your body or someone else's body that you know. Um, and it's giving you some more understandings and reasons in order to put in place to improve uh, your lifestyle and improve your health um, to some degree. So many thanks for watching. My name is Chris from ChristopherHull.com. I will speak to you in a future video.